using an airbrush to do graffiti on t-shirts or any type of clothing can be kind of an investment because the airbrush compressor, the airbrush itself can cost quite a bit of money. So for now I'm going to start out by showing you how to use a paintbrush with acrylic paint to create graffiti or whatever you may like to do on a t-shirt. I use a foam board for two reasons. One, to separate the front and back of the shirt so that the paint doesn't seep through. And secondly, to have a smooth surface for me to work on. You can use anything flat and rigid, such as a piece of cardboard. Firstly, you want to center your shirt on the board. You'll want to tie the shirt down with at least four clips, one for each corner. I bought my clips from an art store that sells airbrush equipment. Lift the board and let the ends of the shirt drape down over the side as you put the clip on. Clip the edges lightly for now, and make sure you keep the shirt centered as you had it. You're going to need the shirt on just tight enough so it doesn't bunch up when you're running the paintbrush over it. Test it out by running your finger over it lightly. So obviously now you're going to have to pull some of the slack out. Release each clip one by one and pull the slack out and pull all the wrinkles out. Just don't pull it too tight. If the shirt is stretched out as the paint's drying, it's going to cause it to be wrinkled once you take it off the uh, stretcher board. Try this out with some old shirts that you don't need, so you're free to make some mistakes and learn. I want to make sure it's taut from top to bottom and side to side, so I'm going to grab the corner and pull it into the center. Now you can test again if it's on tight enough by lightly running your finger over the fabric. No need to press hard. You can also test it by stroking it with a paintbrush. I've got a container of clean water to mix with the paint, and I've got a container of water to clean out my brushes with. You want your paint pretty watery so it flows, but only add a little bit of water to begin with, especially if your paint is really thick. If your paint mix is clumpy, next time add less water in the beginning and then add more water as you're mixing. See now the paint's not flowing that well, so I need to add a lot more water. Otherwise this is going to take forever and be really frustrating. The paint is so thick it's pretty much being smeared around on the shirt. To sharpen up those rough ends, just paint from the end inward. Start the brush stroke at the ends and pull them in. Brush in from one end then brush in from the other end and connect them. Keep in mind that because the acrylic paint is going to soak into the fabric, it's going to dry hard and it's not going to be too comfortable to wear directly on the skin. So whoever's going to wear the shirt might want to wear an undershirt. What I forgot to mention is that I've been using a flat tip brush. The bristles are pretty solid as you can see. A soft brush won't work so well. You don't have to use a flat tip though. You can try different ones. Just make sure that they're made for acrylics. 